solve the following equation for x. Now you've got this equation in terms of x and t. So we want to write this in terms of x. So if you don't start in a particular manner, this can be very complicated. So let's uh, do it like this. The first step is not that difficult. So I'm going to write this as x minus 1 over t minus 1. I'm going to move this, these two, to the right-hand side. So this is minus this, so that if we move to the other side, that will become x plus 1 over 2x. And this is plus 1 over x will become minus two, 1 over x. This is basically uh, moving from the left-hand side to the other side, so it will change the sign. Or basically, you're adding the opposite of this to both sides and opposite or taking away 1 over x from both sides. So the next step would be x minus 1 over t minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 over 2x. I'm going to write the next step like this is 2 over 2x. I hope you understand that because I want to make the denominators equal. So this is x minus 1 over t minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 minus 2 over 2x. So this becomes x minus 1 over t minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 over 2x. So now I can cross multiply. I'm going to do this here. So if you cross multiply, you'll get 2x times x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times t minus 1. Now, at times, if uh, you should not cancel this x minus 1, you can't divide, you should not be dividing both sides by x minus 1. You can divide only when you know that x is not equal to 1. So in this case, if you divide both sides by x minus 1, you will have only one answer. And you should not do it because you don't know whether x is plus 1 or not. If it's given that x is not equal to 1, then you can divide. I hope you know why, because let me show that. Suppose if you're dividing, let me do the wrong thing so that you understand the right thing. Suppose let's divide both sides by x minus 1. So what are we assuming here? We, oops. We are assuming or we are letting, or we are presuming that x is not equal to 1. Why? Because if x is equal to 1, then this is going to be 0, which is not allowed. So as we don't know, or it's not given that x is, x is 1 or not equal to 1, you can't divide. And this is a crucial step. You should not do this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this on this side without expanding it. So this is 2x times x minus 1. Let me use the old color. So this is 2x times x minus 1. Take away. My pen is playing up. My minus x minus 1 times t minus 1 is equal to 0. So what can you factor out? You can factor out at t x minus 1. So if you factor out at x minus 1, you have 2x minus t minus 1 equal to 0. So now I can set this equal to 0 or this equal to 0. So I can say x minus 1 equal to 0, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So one answer is x can be 1. Do you understand why I didn't divide? Because x is 1. So if you had divided, you were dividing by 1. Dividing by 0, sorry. So if you let this equal to 0, I can say 2x minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. We can say 2x is equal to t minus 1 and you divide both sides by 2, so x is equal to t minus 1 over 2. 
So these are the two answers. X is equal to 1 or X is equal to T minus 1 over 2. Okay, so if you want to confirm, you can put this back and check whether it's equal to 0.